The first word in the vocabulary section is split. Split means to divide something into parts, to split it up. However, be careful using this word. I mean, the picture shows、uh, some bread. Uh, looks like banana bread, maybe、uh, that has been cut into different pieces. Sure, it's been split up, but don't say "please split the bread." That's a little strange. Please cut the bread. Usually, when you split something, if something splits, it's you know maybe by accident, right? Something breaks and it splits into two pieces. But you can also say if you do have like a pizza or a loaf of bread, you can say "let's split it." Up. Let's split it up, and usually that means let's split it up equally, so that each person gets the same amount. Let's split it up. If you have to pay a bill, let's split the bill. You divide the bill into two equal parts, or according to what people ate. And each person pays for part of it. So you split something, you divide something into parts, usually equal parts. Okay, to, so to split something. Prism. Prism is、um, a piece of glass that can split light. This looks like a Pink Floyd album cover. <laughs> Pink Floyd is yeah, it's a very old rock and roll band. Good, good music though. A long time ago, but anyway,、uh, what they're showing here now. This is interesting, and you see this sometimes. Sometimes, if you look on the walls on a sunny day, you say, "Hey, what? There's a rainbow on my wall, right? There's all these different colors. What's going on?" Well, probably the sunlight is coming in through a window, hitting a piece of glass, and that sunlight, the sunlight here, this is what represents the sunlight. It passes through the glass, and that sunlight, that white. Light that's coming from the sun gets split up into all these different colors, and we'll talk about that later. But what this is a piece of glass. This glass is acting as a prism, and a prism can split light, divide light up into its uh, uh, elements, into the more basic colors of sunlight. Okay, that's a prism. Next, we have filter. A filter.、Uh, well, here. You could say filter is a noun or a verb. Here it's a verb because we see two. So filter is a verb. Here, but filter can also be a noun, and、uh, this is a filter. A filter. What does a filter do? It filters. Okay, so it's kind of the same idea. But anyway, a filter uh, means uh, to remove certain parts of something using a device like a filter.、And、if you think about it, we have many different filters in our everyday life. Maybe you're wearing a mask these days. A mask is a filter because it removes certain parts of something. Your spit. Or the virus that might be coming from your mouth or nose, usually your mouth, and it removes it and it and it prevents it from going into the air. Sunglasses are also a filter; they prevent harmful light from getting to your to your eyes. So the sunglasses will filter out a lot of the sunlight to protect your eyes on a sunny day, or especially if it's a sunny day and you're on a boat. <laughs> Right, so you get sunlight from the sun and also from the water. That's too much light for your eyes; it might be harmful. So the sunglasses will filter out a lot of the light. So filter remove certain parts of something using a device, and usually you want to remove harmful things. In this case, it looks like an air conditioning screen or something, and you're removing harmful bacteria from the air. Or it could be water flowing through there, and again, you're removing harmful bacteria from the water. A lot of、uh, homes might have a filtering device on the the tap, maybe in your kitchen sink, to remove any harmful bacteria or elements that are in the water. You don't want to drink those things, so you have a filter on your tap in your home. Okay. Next, we have block. Now, filter, right? We talked about filter remove certain things, but you don't block it entirely, right? When you wear sunglasses, you're not entirely blocking the sun from coming into your eyes. Of course, you still need light to see. You're just reducing it. When you filter the water in your home, you're not blocking the water from coming into your home. You're thirsty, or you need to wash, right? So you need water. You're just filtering out harmful things. But to block means to completely stop. Movement 
through or past something. And that's what this man is doing here. He's holding up his hand to block the sunlight, right? He doesn't have sunglasses on, so he's blocking the sunlight from his eyes. So he's blocking the light from reaching his eyes to completely stop something. Not to just filter, filters a little bit, but to block means completely shut it off. No movement through. Okay. Drop. A drop, now drop has different meanings. Here it's a noun. A drop is a very small amount of a liquid. So we see these little drops, right, hitting the surface of the water. Of course, we, we know the word raindrop. Raindrop. Raindrop are little pieces of water, liquid, that fall from the sky. Maybe you've heard of teardrops, right? Little parts of liquid that, you know, somebody cries and they, the teardrops. You see them in little uh, drawings of uh, faces, emoticons, right? You see teardrops, somebody's sad, right? So those are drops, drops of a liquid. Rainbow. I talked about that before when we talked about prism. A rainbow, of course you might see in nature as well. A rainbow is a curved line. It's usually a, a curved line, means like this, curved, not a straight line. This is a straight line. Rainbows, you never see a straight rainbow. That's, that's weird, nobody's ever seen that. Rainbows are usually curved lines uh, of many colors in the sky. What's going on? Well, remember we talked about glass. Glass is a prism. If the sunlight passes through it, it splits the light up into many different colors. But it's not just glass. Water does the same thing. If sunlight passes through water in a certain way, it will also split the light. So after it's rained, right, there's many clouds in the sky. So after a rain, there might be a lot of moisture in the air. The sunlight is passing through that moisture and it creates a rainbow because the sunlight is split into different colors. Of course, you can never go up and catch the rainbow. Many people have tried. There's a legend that the, a leprechaun, which is a magical being living in Ireland, has put a pot of gold. They, they bury their pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. But of course, that's, that's just a legend, right? You can never catch the rainbow. You'll never get that pot of gold if you try to catch the rainbow. It's just a story. It's kind of a funny story. Okay, those are our words for today. Lesson 15. Light and Colors. Split. To divide something into parts. Prism. A piece of glass that can split light. Filter. To remove certain parts of something using a device. Block. To stop movement through or past something. Drop. A very small amount of a liquid. Rainbow. A curved line of many colors in the sky.